February 2020. We're going to get right into it and start breaking down the combo one move at a time. So for our first thing, you're going to pull with the top hand and you want to make sure you're up on your toes. You're going to put your bottom hand right below your chest, elbow at the side. You're going to pull from the top hand first, push from the bottom hand and see if you can't push your booty out. And then of course you're going to switch sides and do the other side as well. Slightly different angle, pull from the top hand, push from the bottom, use your abs, pull your booty away from the pole. Next section. We're going to learn to cross our ankles. When we cross our ankles, the wedge of where your ankles cross will kiss the pole. Your whichever foot is on top of the cross is going to hook the pole. So if I'm here, my right hand is on top, I'm going to bend my foot around and hook the pole. I want to make sure my knees are straight. Left hand high, right hand directly below my chest, elbow at my side. When I push away, my right foot is going to cross over the top. So right foot over the top and I hook it. My knees are straight. Right foot on top of the cross and I hook it. I'm still pulling with the top hand, still pushing with the bottom hand, and using my legs to hold that push away. That is the first move. Pull from the top hand, push from the bottom, cross your ankles and push away with your legs. Second move is a knee sit, half a firefly, half of a front hook, stag hook, whatever you want to call it. You're going to place the inside knee up on the pole. You're going to reach with the top hand, reach with the bottom hand, and pull up. Now you want to make sure there's still a bend in this knee. You want to make sure that the top hand is straight. Knee at a diagonal, reach with the top, pull up, straighten the top leg, Straighten the outside leg. That is the second move. The third pose. From this knee, you're going to take the outside foot and just cross the ankle over. If you are sitting properly, you should be able to let go with the bottom hand. That is the third pose, we call it sitting bird. To put those three poses together, the push back, the knee or stag, and then the sitting bird, top hand high, you're gonna reach, push, remember the top foot is opposite to the top hand. So if I have my left hand high, my right foot's gonna go on top, I'm going to push back, use the right foot as a hook, step through with the inside foot, pull up, stag, sitting bird, release.